Good morning. <laughs> Don't ask me why that's funny. As you can see, I'm in a house. Oh my goodness. And you may recognize this house. That's Chino. Oh. I just spilled my tea. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So, Gino's going nuts though. The cats here have to stay inside because of the coyote um, and our dear departed Mocha. We can't let them out anymore, so they're just going mental. Look, my friends, mascara. Pretty much, I got this thing and I haven't used it yet and I'm really excited and it's hopefully going to turn my Volkswagen Beetle into a tent, a car tent. <laughs> I'm so excited, I hope it works. Rear car tent. <laughs> wow. All right. So this is it. And it comes with these things. And uh, yeah. So let's give it a go, shall we? So as most of you guys know, I moved into my car about a month and a half ago and have been living in there full time. And it's this tiny ass little car. Uh, it's a Volkswagen Beetle. And I've made it more comfortable for myself in there and surprised myself with how comfortable it actually could be for how small of a car it is. Um, and the biggest thing is sometimes, you know, I just wanna kick it in there. And it's difficult given the nature of the back because it's so curved and it's so tiny it's like you're really scrunched in there and I was like god what if I could open this and have it kind of be like a tent and then I did some research and I found this thing and so I'm hoping that it's going to make my life uh even that much more better when I'm parked somewhere I can just hang out in the back and maybe cook back there and it'd be easier and put that thing on if it's easy to put on and off I don't know I haven't tried it before um, so we'll see how it goes. This is little Chino. Oh, we love you. Chino recently lost his life companion. They were so close, brother and sister. They groomed each other like they were best buds. Um, there's a serious coyote problem and it was a tragic loss to our family. But I just want to do a little recap for anyone that may not know. So the reason I moved into my car a month and a half ago is because I was living in this beautiful house that I'm in right now. I was living with my parents and when you're an adult living with your parents, like I had a real sweet setup. They were giving me a sweet deal on rent um, and it was a beautiful space, but it just started to feel like I wasn't free to really live my life. like. I would be if I was in any other living situation besides living with my parents. Um, so I decided to move out and pretty much where we live is in the Bay Area, California. Rents are insanely expensive and I legit cannot afford to live in this area. So instead of moving to another part of the country where it's cheaper, where I could afford to live, I just decided to move into my car because I don't really want to settle full time anywhere else um, at this point in time. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Now I'm in my car. I could, you know, get a small ass little room in someone's house and pay like a thousand bucks, which is a lot for me actually. Honestly, my, um, my main, you know, priorities in life isn't making a ton of money. Like I would love to have money. Money is welcome. Come money, come to me. <laughs> money is welcome. It makes life easier. It's enjoyable to have. You can help a lot of people with the more money that you have. Um, but my priorities are different. I want to live a lifestyle where I can do all the things that help me advance on my inner journey. That was always the reason I originally started YouTube, you guys. Like before even um, this channel, when I had my other channel, I was like, how can I make a life for myself where I can really focus on this inner work? That's just me, you know, that's who I am. That's what's important to me. Um, 
And so getting a different job where I'm making a lot more money and I can afford to live in a nicer place isn't a priority for me. Um, I'm really appreciative for the honestly minuscule amount of money that I make from doing YouTube, but that I make enough that I can support myself in living a very, um, like a cheaper lifestyle. You know, I recently walked, found, I recently befriended someone on TikTok who um, is friends with a friend of mine, actually the person who built the platform in my car, my sleeping platform, um, connected us. And I've been watching her TikToks and just really enjoying her energy and her voice and her vibe and things like that. And she spent a lot of time homeless um, with the dirty kids, she calls them. And I know who she's talking about or like the kind of people that she's talking about because I spent some time on the streets myself and my dad was homeless on the streets for 10 years. So being in a car, being homeless, being around homeless people uh, is nothing new to me. I've eaten at the soup kitchen before. I've also volunteered at the soup kitchen before. Um, I've used homeless services before when I was younger because I literally was on the streets for a time. But she was saying that, you know, this glamour, glamorization of van life and living in your vehicle um, is making it difficult for the people who have like no other option. Um, you know, it's like, I do have other options. I could go to another part of the country and I could afford a place. So this is a choice. Like this is, it's challenging to be living in your vehicle. I think a lot of people see the glamorization and they're like, oh, I want to do that. And a lot of people do it and they realize like, oh, wow, you know, this isn't what I thought. And then they stop doing it because it's a difficult life. Um, I can rough it. Like, I'm a different breed <laughs> of person than a lot of people. Like, I, um, the way, the situations that I'm able to be in and the way that I've traveled and things like that, like, a lot of people wouldn't be able to do the things that I've done because I can get a little bit, like, you know, I could go around with the dirty kids, you know what I'm saying? And like, I'd be all right. Like, I'm a chameleon. I'm very adaptable to situations. Um, and I don't, like, make a big, it's like, this is okay, you know? This is how people live. Well, I can do it too. <laughs> um, but it's challenging having to move your car constantly. Uh, it's challenging, you know? Life is expensive and it's difficult and not everyone is set up to really make it in the way that society is set up. Um, you know, a lot of people have various things where it just doesn't work, whether it be mental illness or just priorities that aren't in alignment, following the heart that's not uh, in alignment with what you should be doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm rambling. What the heck is going on here? Let's go set up this tent. There she is. <laughs> okay, so gonna pop the hood or the back. So I should probably read the instructions, but we're gonna see if we can do it first.
All right, so it doesn't seem that it was designed for my car because my car is, you know, it's a beetle. It's shaped differently, but I do think all I need is some clamps and I could just clamp it there, clamp it here, and then it would be better. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. All right, that's what it looks like for now. Cool. And let's open it. All right, so here it is with it open and mosquito netting. And this is gonna be super great once I get the clamps cause it'll just super fit amazingly. I'm actually pretty freaking happy. All right, and then let's open it fully. And these just fasten right up here. And then there it is fully open. But as you can see, once I have the clamp and I'm able to clamp it just right on there, it'll tighten this up a bit and make it that much better. Okay, so my car is a strange shape. So unfortunately, they don't have one fit to my car, but that's all right. Um, as soon as I get those clamps and make it taut, I'm really happy with this, guys. I think this is going to be super um, awesome. I'll be able to park somewhere, open up my thing, put this on, become a freaking spectacle because everyone's going to be like, what the heck is that? <laughs> but let's get inside. Wow, this is so freaking awesome. Hello! <laughs> Guys, this is just the best. I'm gonna be able to chill in here and cook in here much more easily and have this open and oh my gosh, I'm super stoked. This is freaking awesome. It might not fit my car perfectly, but I know how to make it better and I definitely am feeling very positive about this. Thing. All right, all in all, I am super happy with this. I'm really excited. It's really gonna expand the space in there when I'm just parked and wanna cook or just wanna chill, and it's awesome. So stick around, stay tuned. I'll show you what it's like with the full clamp situation that I'm envisioning to make it more taut, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. So thanks guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.